Because, my, I'll, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me kick it off by saying I'm a big believer in insects, not only for the animal feeding, but also even for humans. I, I, against what a lot of people might think, I, I, I go against the trend. I have never uh, been a vegan. I was a vegetarian when I was 16. Uh, during six months because you know i was an anarchist and a revolutionary and you are weird things at that, at that age but i've always believed that it is ethical to eat everything and everything means everything and uh of course we have a lot of prejudices against against insects uh, but if we want to grow the population of the earth uh, and we want to be fed and have a good macro uh, balance, we, we need to bring the insects into the equation. Yep. Now, where are we right now, Constant? In, 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 in this process, where are we right now? You, d you don't feed humans. Disclaimer for everyone, the Constant doesn't feed humans. <laughs> you are now into the... Uh, you, you Tell me a little bit, w where does this come from? You told me already from that eco uh, Economist article. And then how do you jump from an article uh, read into uh, creating a company that is w working and, you know, creating technology? So I actually, I, I co-founded um, Fly Farm in Hong Kong with a friend of mine, um, Rob, who um, we got chatting one day and he'd also read about the changing legislation. So previously feeding insects was banned from, you were banned from using insects as, as an ingredient in animal feed. Um, but the European Union uh, carved it back out and said, no, that, that doesn't make sense. We, we want to we wanna allow insect protein to be used for, first of all, for salmon, for fish, and then later they did it for chickens. Um, previously, it was kind of caught up in mad cow disease legislation. So we could see that this was kind of opening up, and actually what everyone was doing was copying the European Union. So, you know, then, you know, major markets, they were allowing insect protein. So that's on the protein side. And then what's happened since then is there's just been, you know, ever increasing and, and quite rightly, there's been ever increasing um, forces driving companies and economies and local government to, to do better with waste. Mm -hmm. um, and the other part of insect uh, farming is that you can, you can um, use waste feedstocks as, as what you grow the insects on. So food waste take food waste for instance food waste generates eight percent of global emissions just mm -hmm. food waste um now that encompasses like on-farm waste processing waste you know it covers the whole spectrum disposal decomposition you know, emissions etc that that is all encompassed within the food waste figure um a lot of food waste happens before it even reaches the consumer so it happens somewhere along the supply chain um an insect, so now insects, what's driving insect farming generally is two drivers. One is the drive for sustainable protein, but the other one is the drive to bioconvert waste, bioconvert organic waste. And by by t feeding it to insects instead of uh, either letting it decompose or burning it or, you know, putting it in landfill, which generates methane, you know, th there is a very big emissions abatement mm -hmm. benefit that happens if you use insects to, to digest that, um, make food from food and, and produce sustainable protein. So those drivers, and actually what motivates me incredibly strongly is the fact that insect, the insect business has these double benefits. It has benefits both on the, on the protein side because it displaces protein that probably is coming from unsustainable sources like the ocean. Mm -hmm. So insect protein is often used as a replacement for fish meal. Fish meal is produced from small fish that are fished out of the ocean, um, crushed up and shipped off across the world to become a fish pellet, which then goes to fish farmed fish. So it's a kind of guilty secret of farm fish is that they're often, most fish are carnivorous and they're being fed wild fish. So Insect meal uh, is now very well established as having that potential to replace that um, mm -hmm. natural or, or pelagic uh, protein source, which is not sustainable. And the second big driver is that more and more companies and entities are saying, hey, we've got these waste streams. I'm producing this amount of organic waste. Can I do something better than what I'm doing with it now? And that's where they're looking at insect bioconversion as a solution to say, yeah, look, even from my waste perspective, 
I can do better job if I send it to insect bioconversion than I than I do if I send it to landfill or have it trucked away. 